Heidi Hody, everybody. My name is Michael Charrois, and I'm an instructor here at the Evergreen Cultural Center. Heidi Hody, everybody. My name is Michael Charrois, and I am a performing arts instructor here at the Evergreen Cultural Center. And welcome to the magical adventure of Evergreen Online. I want to give a shout out to the people from School District 43 here at Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam, Port Moody, as well as the people that come and visit us at the Evergreen Cultural Center from such faraway lands as Surrey and Pitt Meadows and Maple Ridge and Vancouver itself. So this is a little offering that we have for you. It's a five lesson series on magic, presentation of magic, including tricks, illusions, and presentation skills. It's, a lot of it is drawn from our three ring theater workshop that we do here, as well as after school programs that I do in and around the Coquitlam area. Something old that is something new. So um, I'm going to be sharing with you what I do when I do my street shows. And I have a challenge for you. The challenge is to take what I offer, the, the three routines, and then add one of your own. Work up a show, record it, send it to me here at the Evergreen Cultural Center. I'll take a look at it. I'll give you a letter grade, I'll give you a percentage grade, I'll give you a certificate of accomplishment. If you actually send it in, because I know, I go through all these courses too, I read, I, I take a look at it and it comes up the quiz at the end, I go, oh quiz, I don't need to do the quiz, I know the stuff, but the challenge is to put into practice what you're learning here, the secrets, the show business knowledge, and apply it and show it to us, that's the challenge. So I've had almost 40 years of street performing and busking, uh, I do juggling, I do magic tricks, I have uh, balloon animals, I do a whole bunch of things, Sing, song and dance, right? You have to have a myriad of skills to make a living in show business. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you how I do what I do. The pattern, the jokes, the stories, the setup. Reinforce, turn it on its head. Um, and you're never supposed to steal material. Right? You're supposed to make it up on your own. Never steal other people's jokes. Don't steal other people's intellectual property. Bonus for you, I'm going to give you the patter, the setup for these magic tricks, the routines that I do. Go to the Evergreen Cultural Center website, download the words, learn the techniques that we're showing you here, record your show, send it back to me. Um, but before I show you a little trick that the guy from the magic shop showed me, let's just quickly go over some techniques. Uh, some some vocabulary that we're going to need. Pen and Teller have a list of seven techniques. You'll have to learn those, plus three other things. Gimmick. That's a little prop, right? Little props like this that you use for the, for the creation of your magic trick. They're props. They go from your hands and then little things. Um, you'll also have to know shtick. That's your gags, your joke, your, your routine, your shtick. And then the, uh, you have to learn pattern. Patter are the words that you say when you're saying your, your magic tricks. They have the jokes, they have the setup for the whole routine. Penn and Teller talk about uh, techniques for magic. Loading, palming, switching, ditching, stealing. Simulation, misdirection. Loading is pre-setting, having something ready to go uh, so that you can do your magic trick, having it set. Palming is, you know, you take something like, like the thing, you these and you go, you put it in the thing and you go like that. Okay, no, oh, it's right there, it's right there. And you're, no, you put it in the palm. You've hidden it away. Secret it, palm it, sleight of hand. Ditching, get rid of. Switching, goes from one hand to another, surreptitiously. Stealing, that brings it into the equation. That's why magicians love to have coats with pockets so they can steal things in. Simulation is making something appear when it's not. I make it disappear. Misdirection. Making people look in one direction. Whoa, movement over there, holy smokes. When the action is actually happening over here. So now, I got a little magic trick for you. Something that you can try at home. What it takes is a couple of metal circles. You can use washers, little things like that. You'll need a balloon. Gotta have a balloon. And the last thing is, uh, 
need, I need my name tag to make this work. Okay? So what we do is we say to the people, so you say, okay, you blow up a balloon and you say, okay, rub it on your hair, you rub it on your hair. And what you're doing is you're taking the electrons off of your hair and they're building up on the surface of the balloon and creating static electricity. And when you make static electricity, I know that you've all seen this, right? You build it all up and then what you can do is you can go over to somebody's sweater or some like curtains in the back there. You just hook it up like that and it sticks. Well, you could do the same thing with metal. Right? You strike it like that and you take the electrons off those pieces of metal like that and you build up the static electricity and then, oh, look at that. You see? Look at that. They're able to stand right there, right in the middle of my shiny forehead, right there. Oh, yeah. And then what you do is you give it to the other people. You say, here, you try. And they take it like this and go like that and they try and get the electrons off of there. They build it up, the static electricity and go like that and then... It falls. They go, what the heck? How come I can't do it? You take it back from them and you say, well, look, I don't know why you can't do it. You see, I can do it. And you just go like that, get some electrons on there, build up the static electricity, ta-da! And it spins around like that. Oh, it's magic. Well, the thing is, they don't have a magnet loaded in their hand like I did. So when I did this, right? When I did this, making the list of the balloon and the stuff, and I go like this, oh, look at my name tag over here. Well, I'm just misdirecting your attention to look there as I take it down here and load it in my hand. So there it is, it's sequestered, a little magnet, a little fridge magnet, a little new dynamic, whatever, tiny, right? Then you place the other one on top of it, that magnetizes it. You, this is all shtick, right? You, you're tricking people into thinking about, about static electricity when really it's magnetism that's at work magnetism. So that's the trick with this. The shtick is to make people think about static electricity and you trick them with magnetism. It's magic. Come back for episode 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm Michael. This is Magical Adventure, Evergreen Online.